Greetings, welcome to my channel, A Place to Dock. My name is Julia, and this message is for Libra for the month of June, 2022. And welcome Libra, this is for anyone with uh, Libra Sun and Libra Moon and even Libra Rising or anyone else interested in l listening in. That's great, welcome here. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we are going to use the Morgan Greer deck. We're going to uh, pull some cards to see what we might need to know for the month of June. And so I'm going to just pull some, some are already coming out and we'll see what we have. Okay, so how have you been? Let me know in the comment below. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay. So Libra, the bottom of the deck is the king of wands, lots of fiery energy, passionate, driven, and bold and courageous. So that's where you're coming from. That's excellent. So the first card that we have is the Knight of Swords. There's probably a lot of things that are rolling around in your mind. You're thinking about executing a lot of different uh, projects and things and you're ready. You probably have your hands in mini pies and you're doing a lot, okay? And your energy is really high and this is going for the gusto in every which direction. So you're going to need to focus that direction for yourself for the month. And the other card that we have is the Nine of Pentacles. And I will say it's my favorite card. The Nine of Pentacles is represents independence and luxury and all you've achieved so much. And this is not just natural um, coming to you. You've worked hard for it and everything that you've been putting your hand to has been very successful. So this is a great place to be for you, Libra. You're working really hard. You're putting a lot of energy in and it's going to pay off. Okay, that's awesome. So in your foundation, what has been your long-term um, past right now is the Six of Pentacles. You've been keeping your life in balance. You're giving and receiving equally as best as you can. You're looking out for your own interests, but also paying attention to the interests of others. You're very balanced. And this is actually the perfect Libra card because you do live life and partnerships in balance and you keep, keep things at an even keel as best you can. So, and also you'll notice, I just noticed colors on here. There's a red flag or whatever it is behind him. And that is a lot of passionate energy. So it's very much uppermost in your mind that you do keep life in balance. And that is how you've been surviving. So you've been doing very well. In your recent past, you have the moon card and the moon represents a lot of unknowns. So you've probably been working your way through uh, a journey that has Perhaps you've just not known what to do next, but you just keep doing what you're doing. And you're calling, you're feeling called and compelled, and you're listening very much to your intuition to lead you and guide you. And that is excellent. It will lead you on to your journey to a new paradigm. I always like this because there's the pillars there, and it leads you to through to a new day, to a new dawn. And these pillars always remind me of that movie, the child movie, Never Ending Story, where the child had to walk through these two pillars and if he wasn't true then the lightning bolt would hit him so anyways I don't know if you ever seen that movie let me know if you have in the comments below but that's what I think of when I see these two pillars on this card okay and what is crowning you what's on your mind and what you're quite capable of you have now the Queen of Rods which is the Queen of Wands she's so passionate and so energetic this is such a courageous card so you're being bold and you're pursuing everything that you've been wanting to do. And that is excellent. Keep pursuing it and you are going to blossom and bloom. And also you'll see here, there's the sunflower. So come August or whenever sunflowers are fulfilling or blooming, you know, you are going to see your harvest. You're working very diligently at what you need to do. Now in the, uh, what you're going to need to be aware of as well for this whole month is the Five of Swords. This is an inner thought. I, I often think of it as being inner thinking of this and that, and you're wondering pros and cons, and you're weighing a lot of things out. And also you have to be cautious of other people taking advantage of you with this card and maybe and, and taking your ideas. So protect your own ideas and just know that what you're doing is transitioning into something new. You'll notice here that there's a brilliant sunset. So it is leading on to a new life 
and you're going to be able to move on from this. This might have some pain attached to it where people have taken things from you or you just have to be careful of other people uh, and watch, watch all the things that are going on around you so that nothing is being taken from you. Okay, so this is great. You're really pursuing a lot of things this month and you're keeping life in balance. I'm just going to say, as I look at these, when I look from top to bottom on my cards here, I see them like this, okay? So you have them all looking straight ahead. See, she's looking straight ahead, she's looking straight ahead, and he's looking straight ahead. So keep looking straight ahead. Do not let these worries and unknowns and fears bother you. And as this man, he, on my table, is looking at this man. This is the way it is on my table. So he's looking at this. So you be aware of other people and what they're thinking and what their what their mo um, motives are. Okay, so be really keen on that and be aware of what's going on. Okay, so what I'm going to do is pull a few different oracle cards and we're going to see some other ideas for Libra, what you might need to know for this month of May. These are little witchling cards that have little words on them. Okay, one fell on the floor. <laughs> Okay, so the first one on the floor is Aura. A healthy aura keeps your energy in balance and harmony. That's what you need, and Libra likes to keep it in balance. So keep your whole body in a pure state. You know, step into the violet consuming flame and cleanse your aura. <clears throat> That's by St. Germain if you need to know that. And other, also, the other word is relaxation. Stop your world from spinning by partaking in well-deserved moments of relaxation. Stop your world from spinning. And that's, see, with this Knight of Swords, he is spinning in every direction. So this, your guidance is to relax, okay? Stop your world from spinning by partaking in well-deserved moments of relaxation. And it's interesting, as I'm giving the reading, I'm feeling that energy of go, 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 like hurry, hurry, hurry. But you know what? It's time to just calm it down and to cleanse this aura, keep your energy in balance and take it as it comes. If you have to write it down or do something to help yourself organize it and deal with it at another time. All right, that's great. So what we're going to do is now I'm going to pull another card from this deck, which is the universe has your back. And let's see what card comes for Libra for June 2022. Okay, it came two cards. So the first one is, when I lean on certainty and faith, I change my mind about the world I see. So lean on certainty and faith. Okay, so that that is leaning on certainty and faith it will change your mind about the world you see so if you're not seeing things clearly with this moon card just lean in on your faith and lean in on your certainty and the things that you know and trust that the second one is obstacles are detours in the right direction there you go obstacles is that clear I'm not sure obstacles are detours in the right direction so that's excellent. So whenever you're coming up against something, just know that it's just guiding you in the right direction. Take a left, take a right. Okay. Okay, Libra. So pick a question uh, and I'm going to use the angel answers deck and we're going to see uh, what, what further guidance does Libra need to know for June. I'm going to pull three cards and you can have either three questions or one question and see it different three different ways. So I'll pull three cards for Libra for June. June. Oh, this one. Okay. Okay, here we go. Awesome. So the first one is if you believe. And that is what you're doing this month. You are believing in your passions. You're believing in the direction that you're going. Even though you're doing lots of things at once, when you don't know what you're what all the details are you're believing and it'll lead you in that right direction the next card you get it's interesting i really don't think i've seen this card before is don't stop don't stop so yep when this knight of swords is going even though you're probably going in lots of directions 
don't stop on the most important ones, but make sure you relax as well to stay in balance. Okay, and the last one is big happy changes. That's amazing. So all the things that you're putting your hand to are leading you in the right direction and you will soon see big happy changes. Okay, that's excellent. So thank you so much for watching Libra. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And I hope you have a great month of June. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.